Um, this is the Soul Food Book Club, and we're so excited that we decided and chose to work on the Return to Me as our very first book that we're going to study in the book club and discuss. We are going to get together um, weekly and talk about this and see where the journey is taking us with the book club and with this book. So I am so happy and honored that the author of the book, Ali O'Shea, is with us here today. And we've invited anyone that wants to come in in the group to jump on here so she can meet you and we can hear from her, uh, her excitement about us with this book. So Ali, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be here and it's lovely to see you know, Jean and, and Marcia, and obviously yourself, Terry, who are excited to, um, to get started and get going on my book. So thank you so much for having me here. Absolutely. And I have my book, of course. <laughs> and I have delved into that first chapter. I think I'm on chapter three now. I've, I've just been taking it slow because I wanted other people to get their books so we can all be in... in um, in sync together with doing these beautiful exercises in the book but i'm absolutely loving it the the first chapter itself was so eye-opening and profound and i'm i'm really happy that i found this and that i found you ali so thank you thank you for oh, joining us you. today thank you likewise um it's an honor as i said to be here i can't actually find the, the video to share out where oh, did you share okay. it we are in the group, the Soul Food Book, book Club. Group. Okay, so I don't think I can share right from there, can I? I'm pretty sure no. you should be able to, you're a member. Yeah, no, there's only the like and, sh and comment option. Oh, okay. Then go to um, EWN Enlightened Living. Let me just share that to you. Okay. Go there. Yeah, probably because that's a private group that uh, yeah. we have with the, the book club. So let me find it on here. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to share that to you, Allie. Perfect. Thank you. Being a little slow. All right, so it's buffering right now. <laughs> That's typical, but you know what? Yeah. As we all say, everything will come in divine timing. It does. The, the less we stress, the faster it happens, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> that, law, that law of attraction in action. <laughs> yep, always. Marcia, hear us? I can't. I, I came outside so I can hear her. <laughs> awesome. Hi, Marcia. And Hi. Did you get my response yesterday? I got the book. I'm so excited. I did. I answered you. Oh, you did. I, I've been, I haven't even been on Facebook hardly at all. For oh, something. I answered you on the thread and then you, you sent me a message as well. So I answered you in both places. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew that. I figured you hadn't seen the one. Is it just the three of us? No, there's Linda. Uh, Linda just okay. came on and I'm yeah. expecting, I'm expecting a few more. Yeah, well, no, that's cool. I just happened to be over at my daughter's we're getting ready to get our nails done <laughs> for very the nice. trip to mexico care, very important yeah. hi linda hello hello welcome thank you i'm in my sloppy clothes <laughs> that's quite all right i wish i was <laughs> nice and comfortable though. <laughs> there. Okay, so I was just doing some sharing, get this out so people can see that it is live and 
I know there's a few other people that wanted to come in to meet Allie. Um, so, Marsha, I'm so glad that you got your book. And are you part of the book club? No, I didn't. This is the first I've seen of it. So are you putting it in there so I can look it up and get joined? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I'll okay. send you a link. Uh, okay. Jean is part of the book club. And Linda, I'm pretty sure you are. Yes. <clears throat> and Linda, do you have your book yet? I do. I got it Saturday. Yay. Oh. <laughs> On Amazon. Very good. Awesome. I got my. Are you talking about your book, Allie? Yes, we are. Yeah. Yeah, I got mine signed and delivered it with a beautiful thank you note in it. Very uh -huh. awesome. it forever. Oh. Yeah, me too. Thank, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Yeah, because if people if people order it from my website, I can obviously sign it. I can't if, if it's bought through Amazon. Um, but, you know, if people don't mind, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I, hopefully I'll meet everybody one day in person and I can sign it for them personally anyway, you know? Yeah, that's a good thought to think. That's yeah. right. Because <clears throat> I'm still intending you're coming to South Florida. And yeah. Linda, Linda is here in South Florida. So we definitely, oh. we're, we're going to pull you down here. <laughs> yeah. And where are you, Allie? I'm in Ireland. Oh, wow. But I, I hosted a workshop, a law of attraction workshop in Las Vegas last mm -hmm. July. So my intention is to go back to the United States to host more workshops. Oh, that would be wonderful. Put it yeah. on our list. <laughs> yeah. It's on my list. I've got a vision, I've got a vision card with it. <laughs> and also I plan on doing more retreats here in Ireland as well. So, you know, if you're looking to come to Ireland, if your dream has always been to see the beautiful lush countryside that we were just talking about with Jean and uh, Terry, um, well then, you know, maybe you'll come to Ireland, you know, or you'll do I both. Would love to. I would love that. Me too. All right, Linda, road trip. Linda's my road trip partner. <laughs> I got my passport just as the COVID hit. I thought it was so ironic. Oh. One before. So now I got my. <laughs> I just my got mine. Oh, yeah. Going to Mexico s s Sunday. And oh, uh, it got, I signed up and then it didn't look like they you know they were closed down and by the grace of god i received it mm -hmm. oh good that's awesome. good yeah what uh, part of mexico are you going to marcia what part oh, of mexico i'm sorry what what part of mexico a cancun some with my daughter and her husband oh, and their, my granddaughters. We've never been on vacation together. It's like Cancun, some uh, really nice place that they're kind of a member for and we get to go with them. It's oh. exciting. Yeah. Isn't that where there's beautiful white sandy beaches? Yeah, I think so. Oh, you're it, have it's a beautiful. Time. I've been there once, I think, but it's been so long ago. But we're going to have a good time. Yeah. It didn't look like we were going to make it, but so far, we're getting out of this country. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. Well, we have some people online with us as well. Ellie, I sent it to you through Messenger. Yeah, I, I sent it to a couple of people in Messenger, but it won't allow me to share out onto my page. What? Okay. Can you share it to my timeline? Yeah, oh, I tried that. Let me see if it'll let uh, me. Oh, yeah. I just didn't want to interrupt and tell you that. But <laughs> That's okay. Um. So hello to everybody on Facebook and online. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> Who has a bird tweeting in the background? I think that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> I love birds. They yeah. go everywhere with me. I do too. <laughs> do you want me to mute? Not at all. No, it's fine. I love the sound. Uh, yeah, they're they're really chirping. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, the four dogs aren't barking, and or the baby calico 
twin kittens or that and then there's a tortoise it's my daughter loves animals what does the tortoise make a noise no i just <laughs> added that to it <laughs> they all get along together i it's amazing oh. Okay, Allie, it's not letting me put it on your timeline. Is there a group I can put it in? You can put it in Positive Minds. Okay, I'll go there. So while I'm finding that and doing that, let's talk about the book. Mm -hmm. I've been very excited of getting into it. And I know Jean is still waiting for hers. Uh, Linda yes. just uh -huh. got hers. And Marsha got hers. Mm -hmm. So... Allie, just talk to us a minute about this book, this wonderful, amazing book that you did. Yeah, so ladies, I'm not sure if you were on the Zoom call last yesterday, I should say. It was last night for me, but yesterday afternoon or morning for you guys, probably, um, where I was talking to Terry about um, the fact that, you know, self-love is the most important relationship that we can cultivate in our lives because it's the core relationship from which all other relationships in our lives stem and how it's so important to look after yourself, to, to do the things in the book, like setting boundaries, making time for you, discovering who you really are and what you truly want from your life so that you can start to fulfill your ambitions that you may have had as a little child and forgotten about them. Because no matter what age you are, it doesn't matter, you know, your life is important and your your purpose here whatever that might be is also important and um we've all come to fulfill a path whether we know what it is or not um you know doing what we love to do is really important and cultivating that relationship with ourselves going within finding out who we truly are and what it is that we truly want from this life it affects all other relationships. So helps with also our manifestation in life and creating the life of our dreams. And I don't know about you ladies, but for me, that's really important. I don't want to just sort of be going through my life on autopilot, just meandering, uh, you know, through these lane ways and navigating uh, the way other people tell me to do. I want to have a very clear um, path of which way I want to go on my journey. And I want that for everybody else as well. It's also about cultivating your confidence so that when you go out into the world, um, whether it's making new friendships or looking for a new job or career or you know, going away on vacation for the first time by yourself and feeling a little bit, that you can build up that confidence because you know who you truly are and you're comfortable in your own skin. So this is why I feel that, you know, returning back to you is, is very important. And returning back to you is about finding the essence of yourself um, and connecting with your inner being, because we all have an inner being. We're all here on the spiritual path. We all have an inner being, a higher self, soul, source, God, the universe, whatever you want to call it. So to be in that deep connection with ourselves so that we can follow that true path and be our authentic selves. Sounds like it was made for me. <laughs> <laughs> All of us. Yeah, yeah. So I hope that you all enjoy it. But like I was saying with Terry yesterday, you know, I think that there is probably a now, it's probably not the majority. There might be the minority of people who, who receive books like this or, or buy books like this. And because they have to do the work, they put them aside. But it's about sitting down and making that time for yourself to really, really connect with yourself to see who you truly are and bringing out that authentic, more confident um, person who will be full of self-esteem. And this isn't an egotistical thing. Self-love is really important, as I said, because it affects every other relationship around you and therefore your whole life. Yeah, I think it's the most important thing we can do for ourselves, especially in this day and time, to get that, in, that energy of love flowing through us. And it does increase your confidence. And 
Ali, I was noticing this even with the first chapter when I started looking at some of those answers that I was writing out to the questions. And I, I bought a separate notebook just so I could write out my answers. Thank goodness, because yeah. I was like writing a whole page on one question. <laughs> <laughs> but as I was doing that, it was like it was bringing up stuff in me to release, but also giving me that energy of confidence as I was writing those answers and going, yes, you know, yeah, I can do this. So I'm, yeah. I'm so happy that I've got it. And somebody just commented that they got a notebook so they could do it again. <laughs> yeah. Lots of people don't actually want to write in the book because they think it's too pretty. <laughs> Yes, um, I have to give a shout out, of course, to Kieran Garrity for allowing me to use his photography throughout um, very kindly. He, he was a friend of Paul's, my husband. He went to school with him and my husband had seen his photography and asked him, could we use his, his uh, photography? And he very kindly let me, uh, free of charge, I might add. So his, his photography is incredible. And he's actually Irish, but he lives in Canada. Yeah. And the, that makes the energy of this book so profound because as I look at those pictures, that tells a story in itself. Yeah. And it, it helps us to get into more of the nature energy, which I yeah. love. You know, that yeah. connection to nature brings out more of our confidence and more of our, our beauty inside of us. Yes, yes. The photographs are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was Joelle that said, very beautiful book and very thought-provoking. I actually couldn't bring myself to write in it. <laughs> She's one of my best friends here in Ireland. <laughs> Hi, Joelle. Welcome. And um, yeah, and, and Helen James was the one that said she's writing the notebook so she could do it again. Oh, Helen got it for her birthday last week. Yeah, she shared that, that it was a birthday gift. Yeah. How awesome. How awesome. I was going to ask you a question, Terry. You said that you had moments of releasing. Um, and was that, do you think, because there were things that you had left on hold for too long, that you had sort of had those thoughts as a child or in your teenage years or in your 20s or whatever, and then you kind of had let them go and put them by the wayside because you didn't feel you were worthy enough or you didn't feel you had enough time or you didn't maybe have the money to do it at the time. Is this why you felt that kind of sense of release when you were doing that chapter? Yes, absolutely. And I think it was the it was the second question, I believe. Let me just open the book here. <laughs> oh, it was the second question. So as I was reflecting on if I could ask my soul anything, what burning question would I ask? And as I sat with that, I thought, okay, there's more than one question. <laughs> so I sat and I started writing and I word word. Sorry, the words just flowed out as I'm writing it on the paper. And when it did, like you said, there were so many things that I know I'm supposed to be doing. My soul has already decided to do those things, but somehow my human body hasn't quite gotten there yet. Yeah. So as I'm as I'm writing it out, I'm releasing guilt. I'm releasing the energy of procrastinating or the energy of lack of not having to be able to do those things. And it, it was just so powerful. And I sat and I cried as I'm writing those, those things out on that paper. And I just had a really good cry with God. And oh. I asked a lot of questions. You know, it really was a time of soul searching. And that's the beauty of doing this type of exercise when you put the time and the energy into it, it's rewarding. So, you know, we, we can write out like a one line question or we can really go in depth, which is what I'm hoping we'll all do and be able to share when we do come together. Yeah. Have you had many more people join the book club? Oh yeah. We're at 33 right now, a magical number. Awesome. <laughs> I love numbers. Yes, me too. Yeah, that's that's a great number. I see it a lot. You know, Terry, um, I think Miss O'Shea is right. This is kind of a book that maybe a year ago, two years ago, I would have gotten kind of flicked through it and said, oh, it requires work. <laughs> and I probably wouldn't have really got into it. 
But recently, as you well know, I've been given a little push and I've been sitting at home saying, how can I do this? I don't, if I haven't done it in all these years, 75 years, how am I going to do this now? But you see the angels give you an answer. They help you. And that's the way I feel like this is the answer to what I need for what they want me to do. So I'm really thrilled about it. Oh, yeah. Jean, first of all, I can't believe you're 75. How old are you? <laughs> and secondly, I love the wink that you gave Terry. <laughs> <laughs> but she knows why we had the card reading. <laughs> you had a card reading. Terry does card readings, does she? She does. Yeah. She and John did it together. And they were both right on. So, you know. Lovely. I got my push. You did. It was, it was, a, nu it was a nudge. <laughs> I'll have to connect with Terry and see if she has any nudges for me. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we had a great time yesterday. It was so much fun. Yeah. It was. So, Linda, any thoughts from you? Are you excited? I am excited because I've j I've been learning so many lessons uh, the last two or three years. But the more I learn, of course, the more I want to know. But the more they increase and they lead me down another road. It's like uh, the biggest one was setting my own boundaries. You know, I, I was born, you step on my foot and I say, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. like, so it's a setting boundaries for everybody, really. And mm -hmm. even even myself, or you know, what I'll allow and what I won't. So just it it's so important for self. You know, I did so much for so many years for other people. You know, as a special ed teacher and a mother of two, and mm -hmm. they're both grown and husband. And so it's uh, you know, you don't always put yourself first when you're going through that. And you really should. Wouldn't it be wonderful to learn this at an early age? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. Jean, I'm 72, so we're not too old to learn. My goodness, ladies, you don't look your ages at all. Uh, I'm, thank I'm 68. And you don't well, either. My goodness, I mean, incredible. Yeah. Well, it's the phones help some. The wrinkles aren't all, you know. I've laughed a lot, so I have a lot of wrinkles. Well, that's good. <laughs> I have laughter lines too, let me tell you, lots of them. <laughs> they actually come down here. <laughs> I've and then they, about they actually finish here. <laughs> yeah. Right, I have that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, But anyway, so yes, I'm excited to read the book. And uh, yeah, I was in that marathon yesterday of card reading and I got some good <laughs> advice. <laughs> so that was good. I guess it went two and a half hours, Terry. <laughs> Yesterday went two and a half hours with the readings. Yeah. Yes. We had we had not planned on that, but <laughs> yeah. there was a lot to say. Yeah. So Helen in the, the uh, audience says, since this quarantine started, I found Allie. I'm learning so much about myself, being very honest with myself in the book. So thank you, Helen, for, for that statement, because I think that's so important. We can, we can sit and write all kinds of things. We can tell any story we want to tell, right? But when we answer these questions, if we really go in and do that, that deep dive and really search, those answers that come out on your paper or that wherever you're writing it, it's going to help. It's going to change you. It's going to yeah. change your life. That's what I said to Allie. This book is life-changing because when we do the, the real work that's required to get real with ourselves, it does change you. It, it makes you take on a different outlook. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm excited to hear how people are going to be changed with doing this book in our club. Very exciting. And what I said in the book as well, nobody else has to see your answers. You know, right. some people might be worried that, you know, <laughs> a spouse or somebody might see their answers well you can write it on a separate paper and rip it up afterwards if you want to but you know nobody else has to see the answers the answers are for you 
they and they must come from just you from your authentic self to your authentic answers you know absolutely Marsha have you started your book I know you said you just got it yeah and I've been busy making masks galore for all kinds of people so I've kind of been off but my plan is it's in my suitcase and it's going to be I'm going to have all kinds of beautiful quiet time and I'm going to just dive in I've already got so much in my mind i've been following law of attraction for a while and it alone has just absolutely changed me and i've always wanted to write books and and i've had all these like 90 some dot coms all about abundance and a simple life and they've never come out but i you know the journey's a journey and divine timing is it it's it it's okay but uh, there's so much in me, and this is going to be my my time to finally just get all this stuff put together. I I know it's I know this is the time, and so I mean it's it's the lot of stuff, <laughs> and I'm going to let it go and put it out in the universe. <laughs> hey, Marsha, it could I be the catalyst that. to make you into the next best-selling author. Well, I've got a lot of stuff in there, so it. I've just, it, I'm, I've been a trip on a journey, and this is, this is it. It's going to be awesome, <laughs> and I've got friends who think like-minded friends, like angels like you. So it it's going to be amazing. Just, I'm going to um, go got bonkers good <laughs> uh, it's gonna be awesome so I, and i'm gonna stick to it i've got this this is it <laughs> the best is yet to come yeah. your As faith I is when you talk about it <laughs> did you hear me oh what was i didn't i guess your, your face glows when you talk about it. Oh, oh well, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm a mess for the greatness. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, I'm Simple Solutions Unlimited, 1-800-795-EASY. <laughs> I'm not, but my solutions are. I teach <laughs> vortexuality, the art of joyful living. Uh, Marcia, you're a hoot. <laughs> I am a hoot, yes, 100% a hoot. <laughs> oh, but I, I it, 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 it's going to be a good journey. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for making us laugh because laughter uh, raises the vibration. That's the only reason I'm alive today because I've laughed my you know what off. <laughs> and I don't have one. <laughs> it's a flat. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a nice booty, but anyway, I, I'm cool with that. <laughs> I mean, uh, Marcia, huh? Marcia, I need, what's up? go I ahead, know. Linda. Sorry. I sorry if I interrupted. I need to no, laugh no. more then. <laughs> oh, I can get you rolling laughing. <laughs> I, <laughs> a lot of people just look at me and what? <laughs> uh, my poor husband. He doesn't get a thing that I am. <laughs> uh, it's awesome. get, uh, see, I'm getting so much out of me right now with just being here with you guys that I just trust God. And, and yet, I mean, I am so ready to change my life and get this stuff out of me. That uh, And it all has been laughter. But I don't. I haven't been laughing for a while here, and it's been tough. So that's changing. This this book is going to put me together, and give me, and bring out my you know a whole lot of stuff, good stuff, for for the humanity. Wonderful. I've got, I've got a dot com, do good for mankind, and I've had it for twenty years. Is that not weird? Divine timing. Right now, yeah. Divine timing. 
yeah. Mm -hmm. I think most of that is, it, it, it will, I won't take time up here, but um, I just am so grateful to get connected with some awesome people like you. This is what I needed. I've been out alone here with no one that really, you know, got me. They might like me, but <laughs> and love me, some of them, but a lot of them are like, what in the world? I said, well, I came from another planet. I speak a different language. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna stop now. But thank you for listening. It it helped me so much. Oh wonderful. <laughs> I'm, I'm on fire. You enjoy. enjoy. We're glad you're here, Marcia. Thank you. Absolutely. And, and Marcia, I know you're not a member of the book club yet, but I know that I'm gonna send you the link and we're going to enjoy having you. As part of yeah, us. that would be awesome. That's what I need and to set a schedule and get, um, yeah, it, it's all falling together perfectly. Thank you guys for, for finding you for, I'm just, I just know it's going to be great for all of us. Yes, it is. And we have some more comments from the crowd. Um, Helen says, I find myself making better decisions and making wiser choices. And this is what this is one of the ways it changes us, isn't it, Allie? Yeah, for sure. I mean, because when you sit back and you think, well, what what are my decisions and do I have a choice? Then you start to see the reality of the situation. Whereas you might not have had your eyes open to that before. You know, and, and like what Marcia was saying, and we were talking about it yesterday, Terry, it's very important to find yourself family because you know, quite often we're in a family where other people aren't on a spiritual journey, think that you're away with the fairies and the woo-woo and the wah-wah and <laughs> what have you. But, right. you know, we're each on our own individual journey. So that's why it's it's important that we find that soul family to connect with, to share in the laughter, the tears, the release, the uh, understanding of um, all things spiritual, I suppose, really. Um, you know, not any one individual element of it, but it, there's so many different elements to spirituality. And, you know, we can go from the angels, spirit guides, to crystals, to healing, to all matter of things, um, and back again to self-love, of course. So there's a wide range of different things. And obviously different people are interested in different things, but most people who are on their spiritual journey will have heard of or be interested in most of the topics that are sort of in that category <laughs> mm -hmm. you just learn more and more beautiful stuff and it just gets you to heaven on earth yeah yeah and it can help you to grow and expand you know and 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 I believe that's part of what we're here for, as well as the joy of the journey and the co-creation. The co-creation helps us with that expansion so that our souls can expand and we can grow and evolve and hopefully, you know, ascend our souls further along the path that they're meant to go on. I agree. Yes. Expansion is spirituality is in expansion, you know, they are both so magnificent and it requires both I think to get there I mean that didn't make a whole lot of sense but I meant for it too <laughs> yeah I, I understand and it's like we we're a work in progress so we're constantly yeah. learning and changing and evolving every day oh you know, and we're, yeah we're near in it just gets so big that it's like you know that it's real i mean it's so real that you know you don't question anything when you get you know in there and you stay in the zone and you in, anyway it's just it's a it's magic it's beautiful nothing better it is and and i love that we can have discussions about it and yeah we're going to meet weekly in the book club and oh, talk good. about yes and talk about you know what we got from doing the exercises over the oh. past week so we will start that next week 
Uh, we'll do it at one o'clock in the afternoon and come together in the book club on Zoom. So just like this, you'll have a Zoom link and you can come in and we can all discuss together how our lives are changing as a result of doing the work, doing the, that real inner work. And I, mm. I, I love this. I really love yeah. this. And, and I think uh, Stacy, Stacy Small Lord, she's not on Zoom with us, but she is watching. And she says, I love this book and this conversation. And Stacy was the first person I shared with about the book. And Hi, we, yeah, and we were talking and, and both of us were like, let's just do a book club and get more people that we can have this discussion, you know, about the book and about how I'm impactful it is because that's what I was sharing with her I'd already done the first chapter and I'm like Stacy this is life-changing stuff <laughs> so that's how the book club was born uh, it's Fine. incredible incredible can I ask a question yeah the first one is what day Terry at one o'clock next Wednesday at one o'clock okay and uh Allie if you choose to answer have you always been on a spiritual path and how did you get on your path? Oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, weren't on the, you weren't on the video yesterday, no? No, I wasn't. I can go back and watch it. No, it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you briefly. So I suffered like over 25 years of severe depression and suicidal ideation. I spent a month what? on suicide watch in my early 20s. Um, I had spine surgery probably about five years ago and I was already kind of interested in the secret and the law of attraction and all of that so I started to study more and more and invest in myself and buy courses and do more learning and expand my soul and my spiritual path and just became interested in everything and started delving into as much as I could while I couldn't work and uh, you know I owned a crystal and angel shop I became a Reiki practitioner I'm also a natural energy healer um, so no, in answer to your question, I have not always been on the spiritual path, probably, probably for probably about the last 10 years, I suppose it's kind of been evolving towards that and more in the last, I would say five years has developed a lot stronger, but I know that there's more development that I need to do in other areas. Um, and, you know, I'm always growing and learning and expanding. I'm always investing in myself and buying courses so that I can help others and teach others in the best way that, that I can. Oh. That's wonderful. Thank you for answering. You're more than welcome. Thanks for the question. Yeah. I'm sorry you had to go through all that. It's okay. I think, you know, uh, you know, being an international law of attraction coach, I teach that we have to go through the contrast because we can't have the light without the dark first right and right. i believe truly that that was part of my path that i had to go through that so that i would eventually find my gifts to teach other people about the law of attraction about self-love and about positivity which is what i do on a daily basis you know through many many things that i do retreats workshops my book online free events my groups etc plus online workshops that I have on my website so you know I, I feel that it was part of who I am because I needed to understand and have empathy and sympathy and um, all of those types of things to get to who I am today thank you you're welcome yeah, Where can I we I'm sure Terry will ask but what groups are you on or where can we find you? So you can send me a friend request on Facebook if you like. If not, you can just follow me. My page is public. I have many groups on Facebook. One is called Positive Minds. It's got 23,000 members in there at the moment and it's only huh? been going for a year. Um, just make sure you answer the questions for that one. Otherwise, my admins might not admit you. <laughs> Whereas at least I could recognize your name and just add you. But just answer the questions. Okay. Um, then there's Manifesting Mastery with Ali O'Shea. That's another free group. You don't need to answer the questions there. I can just let you in. Uh, I had a private group, but I'm actually just closing it this week just to make more time for me. I'm, I'm uh, 
going with my book and uh, <laughs> honoring <laughs> what I need to do. It, it was a private group I had for over two and a half years and I went live in there exclusively once a week, teaching all things law of attraction and positivity. But the truth be told, I go live a lot for free on my own personal page and on my business page on Facebook, Expansive Souls. I also have a YouTube channel and it's just youtube.com forward slash Ali O'Shea. Okay. And my website as well, but that's inside my book, I believe. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's right on the, the first page of my book. Okay. On my website. Maybe I should open your book. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> And you're and you're going to want to start that because next Wednesday will be the, the seventh day. So you want to do seven as many of those chapters as you can answer the questions. Um, oh, okay. It's good to do them daily. I, I like the way you laid the book out, Allie, that we can do one day. And and after honestly, after that first day, I'm like, okay, I've got to set this aside now. <laughs> <laughs> that's because you wrote and you wrote and you wrote and you wrote and you wrote I did. I did well I'm a writer so it was yeah. like oh yeah it just kept flowing so yeah so and, and isn't it funny that, whoops go ahead Marcia just reading you know I went through and flipped through some pages and just by reading it because I didn't really have time this last couple of weeks uh, and then I just got it Sunday but it just it brought everything it just like freed me from all even having to think of how I'm going to get, you know, where I want to be just reading even the first page. And I, you know, I skimmed through a lot and it's just kind of healed me and yielded me to just let go and let the beautiful stuff flow. Yeah, that's lovely. Water. That's it. And so when I really get into the writing it, I believe that's going to, it's, it's going to change my life to the place I've, you know, been on my journey to, I'm ready for it. And it, 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 it just is all coming. Everything's smooth. I feel relaxed. It just, it just freed me from having to me come up with anything. Cause I know that what you're doing is guiding exactly where I've been needed to go all these years how cool is that yeah really <laughs> awesome sauce mm -hmm. i'd like to ask something about the affirmations you on the other program you were talking about the affirmations and are they in the book or is this a separate thing that you i i guess i didn't pay attention enough but so you, you can find the affirmations there's a link in the book that will give you the link to my oh, youtube channel oh. Yeah. And there is I am affirmations on there, but there's lots of affirmations. And I don't know if you've ever been on YouTube, Jean, but there are playlists at the top that my husband has very mm -hmm. kindly created. So, for example, there's meditations in one playlist, affirmations in another. I did a podcast I where I interviewed about 60 of my spiritual friends last year. I did about 40 in a month. It was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, that's up there and really interesting. Um, there is just interviews with the incredible people that I have uh, been very blessed to have crossed paths with. Um, so very interesting things up there, aside from, you know, the stuff that I've written or recorded, then there's also some lessons of mine up there on the YouTube channel, but you will find the link in the book as well. It is just www.youtube.com forward slash Ali O'Shea. You might be able to remember that. <laughs> yeah. And Jean, I can, I can send you a link to the one that I do. It's, it's a 20, 21 day challenge. And I've been doing it now. I think I'm on day 16. Wow. I think, and doing it every day, every morning, I listen to those I am affirmations. And you listen and you respond, you say it after Ali says it. Mm -hmm. And it's just amazing. So I'll send you that link. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks and, then, and then check out check out her other ones because she's got some beautiful ones on there. Thanks, Terry. You're welcome. Um, Helen says, I feel like a caterpillar emerging out of my cocoon. It's a journey to become a beautiful butterfly. Wow. Love that. Yeah. Transformation. Transformation. 
So, Allie, as um, we are starting into this week where we're all going to focus on these questions and answer these exercises, any tips you want to give us? I think just don't worry about other people reading them. This is for you and for you alone, like I said. Just be as real as you can. Search inside of yourself for the answers. And if the answer doesn't come to you directly, perhaps you could meditate for 10 or 15 minutes to see what comes to you, you know, with the intention of finding the answer while you're in quiet meditation. Um, because it is important and it is deep and it is searching, you know, if you want to go that deep, that is. Some people might just scratch the surface and that's okay. And, and if you do just scratch the surface, don't beat yourself up about it because it might be something that you think about and go deeper into your thinking. And as a result, maybe you'll come back to it in six months time and go, I really want to work on this and see where it leads me. Um, so, so don't beat yourself up if you can't go too deep at that moment in time, but do be authentic in your answer, whether it's short or whether it's long. Um, and, and hopefully that will set you on your path. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else have any questions for Allie before we end the live today? I'm going to have to sign off here in just a few minutes. So I'll just, my daughter's ready to um, go sh shopping anyway, but it's been awesome. Thank you, everybody. I'm looking so forward to all the days to come from here. We're all going to benefit and it's going to be a beautiful journey thank so you for joining us thank you nice bye see you later marcia thanks so much for popping on enjoy your I'm holiday glad, i'm glad i got to thank you thank bye you. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'd just like to say, Terry, thank you so much for hosting this and for, for creating the book club, you know, and beginning with my book. As I say, I'm very honored, very privileged. And I'd like to say thank you to everybody that's bought my book. And I hope that you have the most amazing journey um, as you go through it and really find who you really are. Absolutely. We're all honored and we're going to grow together. So that's, that's what I love. You know, it, it's great to do things like this on your own, but when you have a group and you get that group energy of all of us really excited and growing and expanding, it's going to be amazing. I'm, I'm so thrilled to do this and to have everyone. And uh, Helen says, thank you so much for going into this book. You're, yes, I'm just delighted that um, those of you that have come into the book club are there. And let's, let's make this a wonderful experience together. So thank you. Thank you all for joining on the Zoom today. And those of you that joined us live, thank you for being here. Allie, I just love you. I love your energy and I love this book. So thank you for joining us on the live. Thank you. I love you too. Thank you so much, everybody. Much love to you all. Bye, Bye -bye. everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, Jean. Bye, Linda. Bye, Bye.